Under the Bed, The Bedtime Book by Michael Rosen and Quentin Blake. Messing about. Do you know what, said Jumping John, I had a bellyache and now it's gone. Do you know what, said Kicking Kirsty, all this jumping has made me thirsty. Do you know what, said Mad Mickey, I sat in some glue and I feel all sticky. Do you know what, said Fat Fred, you can't see me, I'm under the bed. After dark, outside after dark, trains hum and traffic lights wink. After dark, after dark, in here after dark, curtains shake and cupboards creak. After dark, after dark, under the covers after dark, I twiddle my toes and hug my pillow. After dark, after dark, things you say. I want a drink of water. He started it. Just one more story. Help! What if? What if my bed grew wings and I could fly away in my bed? I would fly to the top of a high block of flats, look out over all the streets and then come floating slowly down to the ground. I would fly to a misty island near Japan and watch fishing boats cross the sea. If my bed grew wings, I would fly to a thick forest where there was an old broken down castle that no one knew about hidden in the trees and wherever I went and whatever I saw all the time I was in my bed. Things they say. You're old enough to make your own bed. This place looks like a pigsty. You can't lie there all morning. Why not? Into bed, you two. Nat and Anna. Anna was in her room. Nat was outside the door. Anna didn't want Nat to come in. Nat, said Anna. Anna, can I come in? Anna said, I'm not in. Nat went away. Anna was still in her room. Nat came back. Nat said, How did you say you're not in? You must be in if you said you're not in. Anna said, I'm not in. Nat said, I'm coming in to see if you're in. Anna said, You won't find me because I'm not in. Nat said, I'm coming in. Nat went in. Nat said, There you are. You are in. Anna said, Nat, where are you? Where are you, Nat? Nat said, I'm here. Anna said, I can't see you, Nat. Where are you? Nat said, I'm here. Look. Anna said, Sorry, Nat, I can't see you. Nat said, here I am, I'm going to scream, Anna, and then you'll see me. Anna said, where are you, Nat? Nat said, yeah! Anna said, I can hear you, Nat, but I can't see you. Nat said, right, I'm going out, then you'll see me. Nat went out. Nat said, Anna, Anna, can you see me now? Anna said, no, of course I can't, you're outside. Nat said, can I come in then and see you then? Anna said, but I'm not in. Nat went away screaming. He didn't come back. These two children. There were two. There were these two children, and they were in bed, and it was time they were asleep. But they were making a huge noise, shouting, yelling, and screaming. Look at me! Look at you! Let's go mad! Yes, let's go mad! Their dad heard them, and he shouted up to them, "Stop the noise! Stop the noise! If you don't stop the noise, I'm coming upstairs, and I'll give you a real bit of real trouble." Everything went quiet. A few minutes later, one of the children called out, "Dad! Dad!" When you come up to give us a bit of real trouble, can you bring us up a drink of water as well? <laughs>